Hello everyone here. The rebuilding continues with a good pace, so let's get to it and show you what I've been doing the past two weeks. So I turned everything around in order to start building over here, the first layer of the wall opposite to the one that I've already done. And I was uh, derailed really by the interior as I was really thinking of how to improve it. Now over here, the lower section, which is kind of the floor should be here. And this line here shouldn't even be visible once I place the floor. Everything has been really preserved. This here has been increased with two by fours, which kind of creates a little bit of contrast and also it helps to uh, support the different window frames and panels, which are in little sections, as I've showed you multiple times, basically to make sure that they don't really pop out backwards by moving or any other reasons. And it also really finishes the overall touch of the interior here. Now over here, I've done one thing that um, basically I've created this little um, support. This will be ornamented somehow, haven't really decided yet how exactly, but basically this connects this panel, which is from here to here and the next row. So it kind of connects them together, pushes it sandwiches together on the this lower side so it doesn't come forward similar to over here. Now this is what the ornament was for the upper section before but since this support here is a little bit one step towards the camera I really wanted uh, for there to be a support over here. I didn't want this row of plates to be hanging over here as it usually is only by one stud and over here I wanted to create supports but this distance from here to here is not it's not um, it's somewhere between a brick and two plates and two bricks and it's not really something that I can really solve as this is not standard building so what I came up with is this two by two uh, plate twice and this bracket up to bottom and if you place it right over here ish it really fixes the problem as the distance here is two plates and half a plate which a bracket is a half a plate in case you didn't know so i've placed it over here and it really supports this also this puts pressure on this window frame with the bracket really. I was thinking of two brackets, but it kind of sticks out. It's not really necessary. Uh, and this way it also puts the window frame downwards. So this one pushes it to the opposite wall. This one pushes it downwards. And this whole row here attaches it to the window frames to the side. So this creates a problem here. You see this is visible and I was figuring out different ways how to do it and came up with with this really which is a lot more kind of complicated and time consuming and part intensive thing that I usually end up doing and hating myself but uh, luckily I should be able to do that just fine with all the parts that I have as I have them multiple times. The trick is to use these window frames here over here and the cover that is over here again in tan so this hole kind of is used for this as you can't really put a brick here and this is what it looks like once it placed so i feel like this is a bit more simple more clean but with this here it doesn't really work and this one i've kind of learned to like this as well so i feel like this is nice i was experimenting with adding some more ornaments over here uh, maybe using these up here here i was using some gold here and there but i feel like this is the closest to this and at the same time um yeah it's not too 
to uh, power intensive and also kind of still simplistic, similar to this. So I feel like this is what it will be like unless I change my mind. So yeah, let's do finish up the windows over here. I have two more to place and then probably add all these ornaments here. And yeah, start with this wall. Okay, well, I decided to stop here. This, this whole wall here is finished now. I have really kept the same uh, colorations here, the same places where the texture is supposed to be damaged as before. According to the pictures that I've taken before taking it in apart, I have placed them more or less the same way and the same places. I haven't placed the first layer of texture here, one by threes here, and between the pillars will be one by sixes instead of one by fours as they were before. Other than that, the colorations here and decorations will be the same, so it will be a lot easier to trace my steps and will not really have to recreate with imagination the actual way that I had decided to do it last time, so it will be a lot easier. I don't have enough 1x6s however, so I will order a lot of those and make sure that uh, I recreate this properly, but that's one of the last things I will do probably. What was interesting is to increase here the damaged sections into the layer here that is one stud inwards. I already like how everything is panning out because uh, over here I need to use these one by ones which are not connected to the pillar which I was worried that it might really create a point of the build that is not very sturdy but uh, right now that I've added these uh, everything is together like everything is very 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 sturdy and when the other side is done and, co and connected with um, the arches over here that I've managed to really uh, keep the way they are to just save some time. It will really will not worry me with this will be uh, falling apart anytime soon. So. so yeah, it is very, very nice here. The spacing with what I imagined. Now we have this extra two studs between every column, which is a lot more uh, truthful to the original model of Hogwarts as uh, this space here should be larger than the uh, the amount of studs the pillars are. I see many other builds that really ignore this which is frustrating but yeah this space shouldn't be identical or smaller than the width of the pillar. So this way it actually gives me a lot more chance for additional details and it will really pop up once the all the uh, walls are decorated properly. Other than that this is again attachable with clips as I mentioned last time and I added a third one here. It's just I've placed the clip over here and the other piece over here instead of the other way around because there wasn't space here to do that. But the important thing is that it's connected bottom, middle, top, which really solves the issue here. So let me turn this around and show you the rest that I've done on the inside. As mentioned last time, this side here from the foyer section that is detachable with clips is on a mill plate, which will be removable backwards as the window here in the middle will be preventing this for coming out in the front, but it will be coming back this way. This is the section here with the side building over there for the bottom ready floor. And over here, since uh, the initial building process, which was a few days ago, I decided to change this to uh, this, basically replacing the one by threes and adding this little lower part here. It's just didn't really like the version where this section here was kind of empty, it didn't really make any sense this way, it's a lot more finished. 
And yeah, these details here, this detail here. Now, obviously these need to be placed everywhere on each pillar, but I don't have enough of these, so that will be done later on. So over here, I built up to here-ish. Basically this level reflects to over here. And before I continued, I wanted to do some other stuff inside and figure out how exactly to place the fireplace, which is somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. So over there and some of the fire detailing is inside. Just want to see how exactly I'll do this because this here will be another mills plate, which will be removable from this side. I will show that in a second. And this thing will be in a way, so it will, I kind of want it to be maybe a whole piece that you can just slot in before removing or something like that. We'll see how exactly I, if I want to keep the same design or just do something else. Then what I did was reconstruct this whole section here with the little podium where the uh, teachers are and the professors. I decided for this not to be removable. It's again a mills plate, as you can see over here, but I decided to just place it on plates over here and the tiles end up to here because it's not really needed for this to be removable. It can be accessed through here and from this side here where the cover will be, as is before, the back side of the building. And anything you need to do, you can reach from here and really do it easily. What's important is for this side to be removable where all the tables are and to set up all the students, which are now over here and over there, around 80 or so minifigs, and I will probably uh, order some more uniforms because this section will be a bit longer now that, that I've increased by 20 studs. So the mills plate is over here. Here it is. It's yeah, actually pretty big. And I've placed uh, where the tables are uh, just roughly. Some of the elements will be replaced and the floor where it should be really and then I need to place the benches again and all the students but that will take a lot of time but now it's a lot more convenient because whenever I want to change this I just pull out this mills plate and I can easily easily remove the tables change the setup maybe if I want to do the scene with the straw again throw in the dungeons whatever I can do that as it usually what I'm presenting here and then if I want to do the um, scene where Hagrid has been released from Azkaban and all the students, the Slytherin students are greeting him. I can do that or I can do something else. It will be just replacing this mills plate, taking it out and doing whatever and it will be a lot more accessible. And here it is with the mills plate place and the other section placed into the clips. Now there is a lot more space. I added, uh, I think I greased the tables by 12 studs, still left a more space between the end table and the door and more space between this end and the podium. You don't want the tables to be endless and really forced up to here and up to here. Should be a bit more space I feel, something that I couldn't do last time with the previous uh, variation of the build so this way it will be uh, I think better. Like I said I placed all the flooring that I know will be here. Now around the tables I did something not very fancy last time. We'll see how exactly I do it now. But it will be again one of the last things I do. Now over here I have changed the tables a little bit of the teachers simply because I've changed over here to this kind of a inverted C shape instead of just one line. This way I can add two more empty chairs. We'll see which uh, professors will be there. I guess Trelawney may be one of them and I don't know who else. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just m make someone up or maybe some subscriber gives me their uh, sick fig. I think I believe a few want to be professors so maybe we'll place one of them here. And uh, yeah, all the students will be over here. Everything will be pretty much the same. And now since the tables are 12 studs uh, longer, it will actually be a lot more minifigs. I believe it was up to 80, 
90, uh, 100 or so, including the professors and over here. So now it will be probably a 150 total minifigs in this section, which would be wow, amazing and great and expensive. Yeah, but probably around 10 of each house, I'll have to order 10 torsos and a lot of random hairs, pieces and faces and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that doesn't need to happen overnight. Now, over here, the only thing that's bothering me now, looking at this, like if I just zoom in over here to this whole section that is done, the only thing that's bothering me is the gargoyle minifig. I have found a very talented um, designer, Mocker, who is uh, specializing in this sort of stuff. And he has shown me some very nice uh, initial mock-ups of the gargoyles. He was very interested in trying this and doing it. So I believe that uh, they will do a great job and can't really wait to show you what uh, he has come up with. It's all very exciting, everything that he has shown me. So very soon, hopefully these minifigs will be uh, replaced by actual gargoyles that are corresponding with the houses. Now over here, one of the latest things I added was the house colors. Each one once, then this golden one in the middle and then another row of the same. And the same will correspond with the other side. And over here will be a fireplace, so no need for that golden one. But we'll have the snake and then the uh, eagle, then the lion, the uh, badger and so on for the other four same way and over here same thing so it would be very very nice to have actually those gargoyles uh, placed so can't really wait for that and over here yeah basically uh, I need to add some more tiling but other than that I have pretty much kept everything that was before uh, I will show this to you again when it's finished with a lot more food and all these uh, Uncovered studs will be uh, piled over and I will talk more about this later on, but it's uh, just a little modification just to make it a little bit bigger and not everything is so crumped up as it was before. So basically using the space that I've created. And that's pretty much it. Now the building will continue uh, with the fireplace here. We'll see exactly how I place it and what I do. And after that, I'm building this wall from this side up to here and then the arches we'll see how exactly i do this here because i want these to remain but at the same time it will be a bit weird with the new roof system that i'm implementing um, we'll talk about this later but basically if you remember before the lighting was uh, wired on the these uh, arches here and the rest was going into the roof and whenever you need to take out the roof, you need it to take out the lights in the roof. And that was annoying. So th this time I'm going to attach all the lights instead of to the arches to the bottom of the roof. So whenever you take the roof, you take the lights. They're not connected in any way. So it makes it even more convenient to remove. And uh, I will make sure that the lights, well, at least I will try. I think I know what I'm supposed to do to go into the foyer as well. So. The roof is on, is lit up and everything below is lit up as well. But yeah, uh, next time I'm hoping to be finishing up to here and then place the arches as well. At least I'm hoping that will be done by the next update and maybe some more stuff over here. Obviously this needs to be done this wall here and then the ones that are leading up to the gates. It shouldn't take too long, but you know how it is. And this tiling here needs to be placed. That will take very little time, probably, unless I decide to change something in the last minute. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. It's really appreciated. 500 subscribers very soon. Q&A, all that jazz. If you want to follow me with all my other updates, you can follow me on Instagram as well or whatever you feel like doing. So yeah. Thanks for watching and stay healthy. I'll see you very, very soon in the next two weeks as per usual. Bye for now.